Start sound check. So we're going to do what's called a sound check. I need you to count down from 10 for me. Okay? Anytime you're ready. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Perfect. I have something important to discuss with you. I'm here because I want to talk with you about your education and what's expected of all of you in this new school year. We need to hold ourselves accountable and hold our education system accountable um, because our schools are not performing. A majority of all children in 4th, 8th, and 12th grade of all races are not able to read at grade level or compute at grade level. But what are you going to do in this globalizing economy if you can't read and compute at grade level? Well, you're being sentenced to dead and alive. One of the things we know is that we have an overflow of information. Students at any moment can tap in to a rich tapestry of information that used to be held in books in the library and now is held virtually around the world. Do students with these new technologies actually have the capacities to think through and filter that information and be able to decide what's valuable information, what's biased information, and what might be propaganda that might be influencing how they're thinking and feeling. How is it that you can then deal with that information if in the classroom you're not asked to think through problems. And the truth is, is the erosion of our schools is now permeated into middle class schools. So it's no longer just a problem over there, like the poor people. It's now in, in, in all of our schools, all of our public schools. And there, there are some wonderful, great schools. But overall, we're failing too many kids. And the, the, the revelation is this affects all of us. Yes, you know, schools are failing their kids, but so is the economy. Not every parent is equipped exactly to provide right. a child with the kinds of things they need to be successful in school. Right. There are other factors Absolutely. at work here. This week, Class Christian was one of only three school districts in the state to receive a star rating. And for years, it was a level five school district, the best rating in the state. So what's the secret to its academic success? <laughs> The Pass Christian School District has always demonstrated a commitment to excellence. That has not changed. We have four schools in our district, two elementary schools, K through five, that feeds into one middle school, six through eight, which then feeds into the high school, nine through 12. 70% of our students are free and reduced lunch, which means they basically live in poverty. Our school district was not known to be very good at academics. We were never happy with the bell curve. Most of our students were scoring in the middle, getting a two out of a four. When our scores came back, we were tops. We went from four students a score four to 40 students scored a four four. In a small district, that's quite a jump. We were then a level five, the best in the state. Past Christian School District in language arts was number one. Number one in third grade language, fourth grade, fifth grade, sixth grade, seventh grade, eighth grade, number one. We were thrilled. To put it in perspective for a kindergarten and a first grader, not having any idea that this would come to be, 
to say to them, if we come back to nothing, what would you have wished you had? The wind actually took the trees and just stripped them of all color. Everywhere you looked was this endless brown, this endless gray. As one of the principals said, we lost everything. We lost our homes. We lost our schools. We lost our town. But our children did not lose the ability to think. When we came back after the storm and they told us, oh, you don't have to worry about testing, you just worry about getting your lives together. And then a couple of months later they said, mm, well, you are going to have to worry about testing. We had to rebuild everything, uh, going from ground zero. 26 trailers were bussed in from FEMA. So we had two teachers to a classroom, students, you know, elbow to elbow, and we ate lunch in the gym, on the floor, out of paper bag lunches. That was how we started school in October. When our test scores came back, our standardized test scores, even though we had lost six weeks of school, the elementary level, seven weeks at the high school level, our students still performed as top performers in the state. We were then a level five, which was considered the best in the state, superior. Mm -hmm.